Okay, we think there's a mouse or a rat in the cupboard. We're gonna open it now. What's happened with you? There's mice droppings everywhere and some of the packets have been nibbled through. So we got rodents on the boat. You and me were family. The bond that we share is as deep as the sea. No matter how rough things may come to be. You and me were family. Sing home. Hey, long for the ride home. Hey, I'll stay by your side. here ready to do this maintenance program you know hu huge amounts of things to do and the first day we get a furry friend on board put all the foods up there and then this and um, some of it's like inside these pots pots of food so hopefully like it's inaccessible like in there. I've put some crisps in the middle and I've surrounded it with gaffer tape and I'm thinking maybe it might get stuck on the tape. This is until we get a proper <coughs> trap. But um, you never know, it might just, because it's the idea that tonight they're just going to be wandering in and out and helping themselves. So you know, maybe it'll make it a bit difficult. Maybe we'll catch them, who knows? I'll let you know. But rats are very efficient climbers. Um, I mean, you'll often see boat he's putting um, frisbees and water bottles on the mooring lines to prevent them climbing up the lines. The vent that goes from outside comes in here but there's no one there's no evidence of anything being in here or it's not in here now. Is it in there mum? No. Yeah but then you might stick on the Dad, I'm gonna check if the rats in the cupboard. Can somebody come with me? Yeah. Right, so it's not in that. Gonna go and check it in the cupboard. Oh, there it is. <laughs> 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 Gary, you're going middle. It's a jumper. Yeah. Oh! I can't get. It's right at the back of the locker behind some pipes. You and could get in there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get I, I can scare it out, but there's no guarantee where it's going to run. That's the thing. It's not there, is it? No. It's quite honest. There's so many places it could go. You see, there's a hole here as well. Yeah, yeah. It could go in there. Maybe the best thing is to put a trap here with some food. Yeah. Then you kill it. Yes. Well, there's a hole up in that top corner, the conduit, and there's a hole up here. So we couldn't find it after that, and we spent a good week taping things up, blocking up bilges holes, cleaning out bilges, which all needs to be done anyway, but it's kind of, you know, hoovering up droppings. Didn't matter how much disruption we caused, um, how many conduits we blocked off. Um, every night we could hear the scratching of it around the cupboards looking for food. We've been to the Chandler's and got a, a traditional mouse trap. And also, the kids have uh, been on YouTube and done a homemade one. And we're also going to try this glue stuff which is supposed to get them stuck. So I'll just put it in the bottom of this food container. It's a dodgy little thing, whatever it is. So far taken all the food and hasn't got caught in any of the traps. If it's a rat I don't really care but it's a mouse and I like mice because they're cute. I don't really want it to get stuck. We bought a couple of traps and put them out but it was getting the food. It was a sneaky little rat. It managed to get the food off the trap but not get trapped and they're really like these traps like you know we tried it out and you wouldn't want to get your finger caught in it you'd probably lose your finger. What have you done there Woody? Um, well, the, we tried a traditional rat trap and uh, it seems to be just taking the cheese off it. don't know how, so I've glued the little pressure plate onto the, the cheese bit and I've sewn the cheese to the, the trip 
I'm kind of hoping that might catch it. It just seems to be running rings around us at the moment. And we've seen it as well twice, haven't we've seen we? seen it twice, yeah. We, the rat we saw um, once in the cockpit locker, but it managed to get away. And then the second time we saw it, as I was taking out something from the central bilge, and it jumped out and over the sofa. I was here with my middle son, and we both kind of screamed a little bit. The great thing about kids is that it doesn't matter what's happened, they just get inspired by everything. And they just do things with it, make stuff. It just seems to be getting all over the boat. It's like using the conduits to get everywhere, and it's a bit worrying that if you can't find any food, it might start gnawing at other things. So. so we tried every conceivable method possible. Sticky glue, we tried conventional traps, we tried traps that we'd um, seen on YouTube. It just wasn't going to be caught. So we had to think about turning to more unconventional means to catch it. Do, do, do. So we've got some other ideas. So we put a shout out on the net um, to see if anybody had a terrier or a ratter or a cat or anything. Um, and we got word from Impavidus. So uh, I'm just going to see their little terrier now because apparently he's a very good ratter. Okay, so I'm an Impavidus, is that right? Impavidus. Impavidus yeah. with Ant and Sid and um, this is Oscar. Oscar's a Patterdale Terrier, so they're um, a bit like a Jack Russell, um, but they're uh, for flushing out small small animals out the ground, and rats and uh, rabbits and that kind of thing, that's what they were bred for. He's a good old boy. Isn't it? Good boy. Oh, <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Can I give a little bit to Lady? Where is it? Find it. Where's that rat? I'm just going to reach across you and so I can get. He's quite interested over here now, isn't he? <laughs> there has to be somewhere around he's him. Interested. Look, he's trying to get in there though. Mm. He got us. So if he saw it, would he like, it? catch it? Would he? Oh, he'll, he'll, he'll grab it and and they shake. Come uh -huh. on. I'm going to put him in the end. Yeah, there's a right, there's a dropping down here actually. Ah. Oh. Right. Okay. So it has been the engine bay. If their heads fit through, they can squeeze so the could... rest through, can't they? Yeah. So even though Oscar was a proven ratter, um, even he couldn't locate this rat, and you could see the frustration on his face when he could, he could pick up the scent, but he couldn't actually locate it. But him and his partner, Lady, were a great distraction to have on board for the kids. How's your schooling game this morning, Darrell? Well. I'm having a day off, <laughs> as Oscar says so. Water. Is Oscar not letting you do it? Good boy. Finish my school for the day. Oh, well, well done. done. <laughs> right, so we think we've, well, we know that we found the rat, okay. It's died on the boat. You can't see it where it's died, so we've got to try and find it. But we know that it's down there because as we go along here, it's here. It stinks, it smells like death. And um, first of all, we thought like it was our cheese. daughter's socks, but it's definitely not a socks. And we know we've opened up this and it's in there. So there is poison around the marina. I mean, marina, maybe it had some of that poison and um, it was slowly kind of dying on our boat. The only problem with that is it crawls into the most inaccessible place and then you've got to get it. Speakers. Yeah, like, um, I can smell it there and then I just smelled it. Whatever, a dead rat in the boat, so I'm quite sad. Okay, so we're going to make a blanket. grave for it. And we don't know where it is, Nina's somewhere in there. Or right in that too. speaker. Carries. We don't know where it is. Yeah. Should we find it? The goat's yeah. cross. It's going to fall on the road if it's going to break. Mm. Oh, God, it stinks. Yeah. Do you feel sick? Yeah. It makes me feel sick, actually. No. Damn. No, which means it's deep inside the conduit. It's not there, so it's somewhere else. Yeah. It's not behind the speakers and it's not behind the backing board there. So the smell is kind of coming from this area. Yeah. Okay. So we'll behind here. It could have got stuck actually, and then just that's how it died. It's unusual for rats to get stuck. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 
I can put that down over there because I need you to catch it as it falls out. Oh! Yep. Thanks, you got that? We're going to have a quick peek from the side okay. and see if you can see it. There's flies hanging around now, aren't there? Mm -hmm. I think it's smell it. Right, you ready? Put it away a bit. Can you sit there? Mm. Where the conduits go? Yeah. I sniff around there. Mm. It's yeah, strong, it there. stronger from the other side. This is quite good to raise a little look, isn't mm. it? Yeah. Okay. Right, let's get everything back in place. So it's not in that section. From there to there, where does the conduit go? Under here? Through here, the ceiling void. Oh, the ceiling void. So it comes through there and there, and then there's a void there. So it's so in this the ceiling whole bit void, isn't it? is void. There's no way to get to so it. it's in the ceiling. Yes. Right. We thought, you know, it's somewhere in that corner. But then we opened up another vent, you could smell it there as well. And it's horrible, the smell of death. It's disgusting. This doesn't go on the ceiling void at all. It's going to be in a corner somewhere, isn't it? Yeah. You get a view of the whole ceiling here. Right, right so we're in the aft cabin now. So this is where we first smelt it, so we're just checking these panels in here. Because the conduit runs behind here as well. And then we realised it was a really awkward corner because we took all the bits off and um, the only way we found we could get to that in the end was by taking out the speaker. That was, so it's one hole we thought, okay, it's big enough to get a hoover in. We thought if we put the hoover in, it will suck it out. It's quite a good little hoover. <laughs> Yeah, so Woody had the hoover and he was lifting up the thing and I had the camera and um and we could hear it. It suddenly kind of you know it's like when you get the hoover going and then it suddenly goes and you know that something's stuck. As he pulled it out, it was like that big. Wow, this is our catch of the day. Yeah, that's a wrap. Yeah. It doesn't even, I can't really work out how it died actually though. Probably, it probably had some poison. Right, I'll just do a photo as well. They're not cut through, but they're on their way to be We got the rat out today and now, yep. We've got to put all this stuff away because everything's completely been opened up. All our food that's in boxes now, we can put that back and um, we can start our maintenance program. But first, it's like one massive clean up. Comment below, let us know any of your uh, rat stories and how you managed to deal with it. I'm sure that you dealt with it a lot better than we did. End of the rat story. You and me, we're family No matter how far away we've grown to be Okay, so thank you for everybody for watching these videos and thank you for sharing them. Thanks especially to the patrons for um, helping us to get the equipment to create these videos, to edit and then produce them and also to get ice creams for the children to keep them out of the way so we've got time to um, create these video vlogs. Thanks a lot. And if you want to do it, do it.